Hey guys, welcome welcome back to today's video. Today I'm here on Jax and we are going to be doing some XC. So this will be super fun, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so it is really close to the yard, so I didn't have to walk far before I saw the jumps. They were looking pretty big considering that i've never taken jack's cross country before so this was going to be super interesting so i warmed jack's up on this piece of grass as i was originally meant to do a competition but in the end i decided not to as this was her first time to nexi and i didn't know how she would be like so i decided to do a little bit of training before so this is why i'm doing a little warm-up just around the jump so she can get used to them she was feeling super forward today of which i was really enjoying she was also seeming a little bit spicy but that was all right for today um a little bit of spice always kicks it in to a good mood so she was being absolutely an angel i decided to walk her up to a very small jump as she had never seen xy in her life before we've done indoor eventing before but we have never done it outside so i just wanted to get her used to these she took one look at the jump and she was perfectly fine so I just had a little walk around it, just see how she would be. And she was seeming okay. So in the end, I decided to trot her up to it and just see how she would go. So I aimed her at it and she was seeming absolutely wonderful. And I kicked her on and she took one stride of cancer and went over it beautifully. I was so proud of her. I was so happy that we made it over and she didn't refuse. And honestly, I couldn't be more proud. So here you can see me just cantering up to a barrel and deciding to pop over it as it was nice and small and I didn't want to start off big with her. And then if we were going to show, I would have to introduce her to the starting box, of which she did not at all seem keen on. Um, I just halted her in front of it just to see how she would be and then straight away she just reared and um, I don't know if she was feeling in a bit of a mood today but honestly she just refused to go in it she kept rearing and honestly she just wouldn't go in it so in the end I just decided to walk her out and I was going to bring her back to it at the end just see if her confidence had improved. Another thing that I wanted to show you her after I had done another jump was the water. So as you can see here, I just asked her for canter again. She gave a little buck, of which threw me a little bit out of the saddle, but I was fine. She made it over with a lot of scope, and honestly, that was just such a cute jump. I was so happy with her. So now I decided to just take her into the water slowly. So we just stood there and I just allowed her to have a look at the water before I asked her in and she halted and then she started splashing in the water. She was being so cute, honestly. So I just kind of allowed her to have a little splash around if she wanted to. She was seeming quite excited today and I think she enjoyed the water but every time I would try to get her out of the water she would halt and she would pour at the ground refusing to get out. So in the end I had to completely get off of her and lead her. I would try to lead her out and of course she would halt and she would splash me and it would go all over me. So by this time I was soaked so much from all of her splashing everywhere. So in the end I just kind of stood up and got her out. This time I decided to trot her into the water just hopefully so she wouldn't have to walk and then suddenly stop of which she did amazing and even though she did slow down to walk I kept her going just so she didn't splash or roll and she was being such a good girl. So here I decided to take her over a little jump into the water of which she did beautifully and she made it in and she didn't even go into a walk here. She was being honestly such a good girl. She was being as good as gold and I was so proud of her. So here I was just aiming her at another jump. I know we weren't following the path, but that was fine. We were just kind of creating our own. And this was a close call as I almost fell off there. Um, I managed to stay on though, which was the main thing. And then I just got her to slow down. As she didn't seem very keen of this jump and she kept halting and then she would go ahead and rear. 
Um, so I just kind of took her around again, just circled her in trot so she could have a good look at it before we popped over it again. Go on. So here we are, about to pop over it. Three, two, one. And then that was so beautiful, she made it over. And yeah, that was just so good. I can't believe she actually made it over. She gave me a little buck of pride because I was, well, I was kind of praising her a lot. And well, she just wanted to show me that she was being such a good girl. Um, and then she bucked just to let me know how, well, how amazed she is that she did it. She was being very strong. So in the end, I just decided to allow her to have her head and she just galloped off, which I was fine with. I just went with it. And then as you can see here, I just kind of crouched a bit lower just then she could get me off her back a little bit more and so she could just enjoy herself. It was so nice, but in the end, of course, I had to get her to slow down, of which I think she really enjoyed that. So at least that has got a little bit more energy out of her. And here there was just a fallen log, and I know it wasn't part of the XC, but I decided why not take her over it, of which was actually a really good idea. She didn't hesitate, she didn't even look at it, and she just flew over it. And honestly, she has just been such an angel today. I was so proud of her. So here I just decided to end IXE training. I think she did really well today and I'm so proud of her. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!